Hey guys, Ro here and welcome to this video. So as promised, I'm going to show you how to make this interactive junk journal, but it can also be just a, a mini album if you wanted to. It is a single sided paper project, so that's pretty cool. I will show you how to cover up the white space as well. And yeah, it was so much fun. I did do a more detailed project share in my last videos. We went over some decorating tips for our covers and our pages, just general tips for any album that you make, and also some tips of, you know, fun stuff that you can put inside any album. So I will link that below. But let's go ahead and take another little quick peek, just kind of like a refresher of what we're making today, and then we'll jump right on in. So I used the Garden Grove collection, and I just love it, but it does have a couple pieces from Gingham Garden as well. And so on the front, it has like a little cinnamon that says, keep dreaming, just such a really fun and playful album. So it opens like this and I have a pocket here with a matchbook style pocket on the inside. And if you haven't seen how to make these, I will link that uh, tutorial below, but it's a uh, matchbook style with a twist because it closes like a matchbook, but then you can actually pull this whole thing out and you can put it in like this. And then it has a pocket in the back that I just put a couple things in and it fit perfectly in this album. All right, and so here we did a little collaging, cute little butterfly card. We have a pocket right here with the photo mat. And that's one of the things I do like about single-sided projects. It kind of like forces me to make more pockets and stuff when I'm covering up the white space. So that's a, a good thing about it. <laughs> and then when we turn it here, I just did a little frame there with a sentiment that says you are pure sunshine and then here i have that uh paper clip from the garden grove collection and we also have another pocket here and i left this with the little uh, camera to remind uh, that it's like for a photo to place here and we have another little mat in this pocket here so it's so cutie and then it opens like this i just have like a vellum card there and then i have a little flap here that pulls down and then we have a pocket here uh, with a little mini uh, slimline file folder there. And it's just so fun to play with. And then this just closes like that. And then we have a pocket back here. So we have a large size tag there. And then this folds over like this. And we have this triple pullout pocket. And I did show exactly how to make this pocket in the video that I'm going to link below. Um, so I will do, you'll, you know, if you want to make this pocket, you can check out that video and have a little journaling card there that I just put a little tuck spot. And I like these because they're fun for any type of album that you do. And there's, you know, different things that we discussed in our last video that you can do with these. And they're just so easy to make and so versatile in that way. So here we have a little flip up page and we have a pocket behind it that I guess when I was playing with it, I didn't put my little tag back, but... <laughs> So we do have a pocket right here, and this pulls out yeah, like this. So it kind of comes out like this, and just a little fun, more interactive element. Back here we have a photo mat that I put back in this pocket. And I did put a couple little enamel stickers at the end of the string, but I've been playing with this album so much that one of them fell off. I guess I didn't glue them, so note to self, I need to always glue them when I do that. <laughs> So this folds over like this, and then we have a washi tape here that's holding down this journaling card so that it flips around, and we've got a little doily there. And then last but not least, on this page, this little part flips out like this, but we do have a pocket here with a little slimline tag that uh, pulls out, and I don't know what I did with the tag. Like I said, I've been playing with this album so much. I just love it. It was so fun. Um, so I must not have put my tag back. I don't know what I did with it, but... It's like a tag that it's about this size and it goes in um, this pocket here <laughs> like that. So not the right uh, size, but just so cute and totally optional. But this opens up like this and then I just put this cute little journaling card back there that goes in this cute little pocket that I got in a pack of a bunch of pockets that I shared in one of my hauls. And then we have this little postcard journaling card, I guess you could call it, in this pocket and then in the top pocket we have this and so yeah we have these two pockets here and you can totally load these up I only put like two items but you can put so many things in these back two pockets and I will show you how to make those two pockets as well just in case anyone and I don't know if you can see it says dwell in possibility 
there's kind of like a glare so sorry about that all right and so it just closes like this i'm going to show you how to make it more clutch style if you want to do it this way instead well to give you an another idea because i was making another one so i wanted to play and see what it looks like there's my tag because see i made one this is the tag that goes here haha -ha, i found it but this tag goes in this pocket and so, but anyways, I just wanted to show you, like, if you want it to make it more like clutch style, this is what it would look like before you fill it to the brim like I did. So that's why I did mine more like where it closes like that, you know. So you can go um, either way and you can also turn this into a pocket right here. Let's say you, if you glue this part and this part, maybe you don't want the two back pockets, then you can, you know, have a pocket that goes this way. So a couple different options for you depending on how you want your album to look or if you wanted to make a couple of them. Like, I've been having a blast, so. All right, so <clears throat> since I'm already playing with this paper, for our tutorial here, I am going to use this uh, paper pad that is called, uh, it's by the Paper Studio. I've used it in a prior tutorial, but it's called Distressed Floral, and I love it because you get so many sheets in this, so I've just been having a blast. So I'll use this one today. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Yay. Okay, so fun, fun, fun. <clears throat> Been excited to show you guys this one just because it's, it's just really fun. Okay, so we need our first sheet. And it's going to be 12 by 5 inches. So since I'm already on the 12 mark, I'm just going to go down here to 5. Make sure you can see this. Okay, I need to kind of scoot back here. Okay, so 12 by 5. I'll put this to the side. We'll use this in a second. And let me just grab my bone folder here. All right, and so we are going to score this one at two and seven and a half. So two and seven and a half. And we'll put this to the side for now. Let's grab our next sheet. It's going to be five by 10. So let me bring this over to the 10 inch mark. By five, so 10 by five. And then this one, we're gonna score at one, five, and nine. So one, five, and nine. And this is gonna be one of our pockets, but it's also the sheet where the magic happens because this is going to hold our whole album together. All right, and let's do one more sheet for now, and that is gonna be 12 by five again. So I'm gonna use this one. I just love these papers. Such a good price and so many different like junk journal um, designs. It's just such a cool pad. So 12 by five, so we got 12 here. I'm gonna turn it and go to five inches. And this one, we are gonna score on the 12 inch side, we're gonna score at four and a quarter and eight and three fourths. So four and a quarter, eight and three fourths, just like so. All right, so I'm gonna put my scoreboard aside for now so we can start burnishing. We'll bring our little sheets back here. Now this one, we're gonna fold like this. We're gonna fold with the pattern on the inside because the measurements that I wrote down for the white space, that's how I did it. So that's why we're gonna do it that way. So we're just gonna fold it like this because we're gonna cover up this and we're gonna cover up this. And I'm not sure if the measurements will work out the same if we didn't. And you know, wouldn't you guys know, I just bought some new blades. <laughs> I even did a tutorial on how to change them. And uh, I'm already fraying again, isn't that crazy? Like, because my first set of blades that came with the board lasted so long. So I think I need to stop like cutting a bunch of pieces of like chipboard at the same time or something. All right, so. This one is burnished. Now let's burnish our next one. And so this one, we're going to have the pattern on the outside. We'll burnish it like this. And then we're gonna take our little one inch flap here because it has two one inches on each side. We're gonna take one of them and go this way. And then we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna bring the other one this way. And you'll see why in a second because this is how we're gonna do the binding to bring it all together. So when it's all said and done, 
it's like this. Hope you can see that. And so now is a good time to do, ooh, and mine, I did not burnish straight, so let me do that real quick. So now's a good time to put the notch for our pocket because this is this page. It's this one, so we wanna put our little notch there. If you want one, now's a good time to do it before we start gluing. All right, so we got our notch and this is going to be our cover. So for our cover page, we want to turn it this way to where this little, the smaller flap is on this side. So let me, because you can hardly see my score lines with these patterns here. So the smaller one is over here and the bigger one's on this side. And this is our cover, but the measurements that I have work like this. So I'm just gonna show you guys the way that I did mine. So we want the pattern on the inside, so it'll close like this and kind of like this. And see that turns out being this way if you want it clutch style or like this if you want it like mine. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our sheet that looks like this, the one with the pocket. Now, when we start gluing, we want this notch, this part to be on this side facing us, okay? But right now we're gonna focus on this little one inch panel right here only. We're not messing with anything else. And so what we're gonna do, this score line that's right here, we are going to glue this right, right before the score line, but on this side of the score line, not on that side. So we're literally gonna glue it as close as possible to the score line without going over it or on top of it. Kind of hugging it though, let me tell you, they're hugging. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna glue it right here. Okay, right here before the score line. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you, if it's easier, you can actually open this and we put our glue and then we can focus it right here. So we, cause we do want it as close as possible to the score line. Cause this is our little binding trick. So, you know, I, when the pattern doesn't allow me to see it that well, I kind of lift the page so that I can see it. And so we're gonna glue it like that. So let's go ahead and put our glue here. So I'm gonna grab my glue. Let's start gluing, yay. I don't know why my four-year-old self just comes out with glue. I just like ah, scribbling all over the place. That's why me and those thin lines don't get along. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna turn it this way and just kind of open the pocket, go like this, because I really want it to line up nicely right before that score line. But I mean really close to it, guys. So close, as close as you can, but also be able to close it. And we do wanna make sure, it's important with this step, that we don't have anything sticking out this way. So we want it straight with nothing sticking out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take my time here and just to make sure that I line it up okay. See, we don't want it sticking out on that side. Okay, so I think we got it. So, so far it's glued over here, that little one inch strip, okay? And then what we can do is open this up and we're gonna glue this shut. So what we're gonna do is not, we're not gonna mess with this one inch panel. Right, right before the score line, we're just gonna do one little thin bead of glue here and here. And what that's gonna do is close this up for us. So let's go ahead and put our glue here. But we're not gonna mess with that flap yet. So no gluing that flap down. Not yet, because we're not gonna glue that directly to the page. We're gonna do something a little different with it. So now let's go ahead and get this pocket glued down, make sure everything's lined up nicely. Okay, and so we have our flap still with no glue on it that's kind of like hanging out there, right? And so this is like this, okay? And now we're gonna take this sheet right here we want the smaller panel to be on this side, okay? And what we're gonna do is focus on this little area right here. So again, the smaller um, of the two sides is on this side. Our design is on the inside as well, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue here on this one inch panel right here. We're gonna put this all the way to the score line and we're gonna glue it on top of it like this, okay? And then our album will be done. So let's go ahead and put glue here. Scribble, scribble, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so 
And we wanna make sure this is lined up nicely here and here. So take your time, unlike me. Okay. And there we go. And look, our album is done. Wasn't that easy? And it's so fun. So we have our first page here. Then this opens up. We have our middle layout here that closes like this. And then we turn the page and we have our pocket here. And then we have this back part where we have our two pockets right there. And then, you know, again, before we do our two pockets, remember, if you want to put glue here and here and maybe a notch in the middle, you can. And um, then you'll have a pocket that goes like this, okay? If you wanna do that, now might be the time to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here, boom, and put your notch, okay? But if you wanna put the two pockets here like I did, we're gonna leave that open for now. So let's go ahead and uh, cover this uh, white space that we got going. So we'll start with this first page with the white space on top of it. So we'll grab our scoreboard and go ahead and get that one done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so our first page is going to be four and one eighth by four and seven eighths. And I will show you the seven eighth inch if you're like me. Me and measuring don't really get along that well. <laughs> All right, so four and one. Well, I'm going to do my four and seven eighth inch first. I always like to do the larger number first just to make sure that I have enough of my paper. So four and seven eighth, that is the mark right in between four and three quarters and five. So the mark right before the five is our four and seven eighths. So we'll go ahead and cut there. By four and one eighth. So that's the mark right after the four. So right after the four and right, right well, it's in between the four and the four and a quarter. I think that's the easiest way to say it. So the mark right before right before four and a quarter. Is that not a mouthful, guys? Okay. <laughs> so four and seven, eight by four and one, eight. Okay, so this is gonna cover up this first sheet right here, okay? And so these are just my measurements. I, I only have like an eighth of an inch of white space all the way around. So if you don't like it like that, you know, you can definitely take off more or cover it all together. But this is just what I did. So in case, you know, you guys want it, exactly like how I did. But I, for some reason on this, I didn't, I don't like a lot of white space around it for the most part, but some, you know, some people do. So just a disclaimer. All right, so let's see if we have any pockets going on here. Let me check my other album. Um, I don't think I put a, po yeah, I did. Okay, so we have on this page, we have this side pocket here. So let's go ahead and do that. But of course you can do a top pocket, right? So in that case, you would do your notch here and you would just glue the three times around that way if you want your pocket on top. But I'm gonna match my album and I'm gonna put my notch here. And we're gonna do our pocket going out that way. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I don't wanna do, I don't, I don't wanna cover up this little stamp there, so I'm gonna turn it around. All right, let me eyeball mine in the middle here. All right, and so what we're gonna do is put glue here, here, and here so that it goes like that and we have our pocket here. And to be honest with you, I did not put a notch on mine, but you can put it on yours and I'll just do the notch with you guys on this one in case you want it. But I didn't put one on mine, just so you know, in case you want it to be more like that. All right, so let's go ahead and put our glue. I don't know why, I, you know, I might've forgot. I don't remember. <laughs> so it might've ended up with a notch anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and cover this white space up. There we go. So even it however you want on there. And now we have that first page done. So our next white space is this smaller little flap right here. So let me go there, okay. And we have a pocket that's coming out this way. So um, our pocket's gonna be on this side but you could put your pocket on that side and you can also put a pocket on top. So keep that in mind if you wanna switch it up a little bit, but I'll do it like the original album. So this one is three and one eighth by four and seven eighths. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna to go to my four and seven eighth mark first. That is right in between the four and three quarters and the five. So the mark right before the five. So four and seven eighths by um, three and one eighth. So the three and one eighth is right in between the three 
and the three and a quarter. So the little mark right before three and a quarter. So our three and one eighths, okay? And then our pocket's gonna be over here, so we're gonna put our notch there. And it'll look like this. Okay, and so we're going to put glue here, here, and here. One little thin bead of glue if you want more room in your pocket. Oh, I'm proud of myself on that line. Ooh, look at me go. Wow, I'm proud of myself today because normally I can't do a thin bead for nothing. This is great. All right, yay, row. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that one down. And you know, just line it up evenly so you have the even white space on each side. Okay. There we go, now we have our pocket over here. So let's see where our next white space is. So this one, and this is gonna be four and seven eighths by four and a quarter. A lot of four and seven eighths, that's because it's pretty much a five inch album and I just took off one eighth. So that's why it's the mark right before the five inches. So let's see, four and seven eighths. by four and a quarter. Okay, we'll bring our album back over here. And this one's going to fit right on top of here. And for this one, we did a pocket right up top because I wanted both of these to have pockets on the top when I was doing mine. So keep in mind, if you want your pocket to come out this way, you can because then you'd have another pocket that kind of like stuff sticks out there if you want. So if you want a pocket that comes out the side, do your notch here and glue here. But since we're gonna do it like my album, I'm gonna put my notch here and we're gonna glue like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and I got some fraying which drives me kind of nuts, but they look cute, the phrase when you ink, you know, ink around your edges, but I don't want to keep you guys to do all that. So I'm just going to cut my little phrase off. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that right on there. So we're going to put glue here, here, and here. And we are almost done. That's so fun. Okay, there we go. And I need to center mine a little bit better, so. Okay, there we go. All right, so that one's done. And now, let's see what white space we have left. Really just the, uh, this little flap here and our front cover and our back. So let's go ahead and do this, cover up this flap here. And you know what? I don't know that I, um, I don't think I put the measurements for this little one for some reason. So let me just go ahead and figure that out really quick. Mm, let's see, let me measure it. So, cause I didn't write this one down for some odd reason. Well, oh, well, no, let me see. I wonder why I didn't write that down. Shame on me. Sorry, guys. All right, but I'll figure this out so I don't leave you hanging. All right, so this is five by the original. If you don't want any white space, by the way, it would be like five by about two, but I'm gonna work it out to where we don't have, we have the same amount of white space. So I'm gonna go four and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And that just takes off like an eighth of an inch on each side so it matches the other, okay? So again, those measurements are one and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. The one and seven eighth mark is right in between the one and three quarters and the two. So the mark right before the two, okay? And if you want to have your little pocket like that, like I did, and of course you can still do a little notch here and make it like a side pocket so where you can put something in this way, but I did mine going up that way. But that would be cute too, and it would actually like fold over these other two pockets we're gonna do, and that's just really cute too, because it's like so much fun stuff going on, but I'll just do it like the original album. So I'm gonna put my little notch up here. 
Sorry, guys. I don't know why I didn't write that measurement down. Well, here I go with these frays driving me up the wall. Just get rid of some of those. Okay. And we are just going to put glue here, here, and here. Just one bead close to the edge as possible. Thin bead. All right, and let's glue this right in the center. Gets rid of some fray sticking out there. It really drives me nuts. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Now let's do our front cover. Oh, look at that, our album has come together. It's so cute. All right, so the front cover is going to be another four and seven eighths by four and one eighth. So let me do mine first, just to make sure that these measurements are okay, because with my writing, I just wanna make sure so you don't waste your paper. So four and seven eighths by four and one eighth, because you know I can never read my writing, so I don't know if it's a one or a seven. Let me just make sure. Did I have that much white space in mine? Let me see. See, this seems a little big. So let me see. That might be a seven that looks like a one with my handwriting. Let me see, this is a five by four and a half. So yeah, my measurement was a little off. So let me do this again. Five by about four and a half. So let me do that again before you cut yours. Four and seven eighths by four and a half, which would be four and three eighths. I think that's the right measurement. I had a filling there, guys. <laughs> yeah, this one is much better. Okay, so the measurements for our cover officially are four and three eighths, and that is the mark right in between four and a quarter and four and a half, so four and three eighths by four and seven eighths. You know already that that's the mark right before the five. And we will go ahead and glue that right on top there. So let's go ahead and do that. This is where my four-year-old self gets to come out and I get to scribble everywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. All right. And mine's not lined up the best, but that's okay. It's just to show you guys. All right, so here we can decide if we want to make it like a clutch style or keep it in the back. Before we do our back pockets, do you want the back pockets? Do you want to close this up and put a pocket here? And you don't really need to decide right now if you want to have it this way or this way. You know, that can come in a little bit. But let's go ahead and do our two back pockets. And then I think we're going to be officially done with our album. All right, so our back two pockets, the, there's gonna be a middle one and a bottom one. So that middle one is five and a quarter by two and a half. Finally, some even measurements around here, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna see if I have a scrap that fits that uh, measurement so I don't cut another page. Let me see. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. I might have to anyway, so. Five and a quarter, no, all right, so I'll just cut another one. All right, so five and a quarter by two and a half. Well, that's kind of good because I kind of need a different color and switch it up a little bit, just in case I wanna do something with this album. Okay, so we have that one ready. Our next bottom one is five and a quarter by two. So we're just gonna take half an inch off of this one. So five and a quarter. by two. Okay, and then what I do when I'm doing these type of pockets, I bring them together and do my notch at the same time so that they're even. So I'm just putting one on top of the other and I'll just do my notch both at the same time. Eyeballed in the middle. There we go, let's grab our little album. 
and we're gonna put the one that's a little bigger goes in the middle. And you can just, you know, stick it wherever you want. I pretty much go to about, uh, about half halfway. You know, the only thing to keep in mind is you just want room to stuff stuff on top, really. But other than that, you kind of decide where you want. And I can hardly see with this pattern, so just make sure before you glue it that you have room for these two to close up. And we'll go ahead and stick these on there like that. So I'm only gonna put glue on the two sides. I leave, for the middle pocket, I always leave this part so that it can go, you know, deeper for stuff to go in. But you can, you know, seal it up if you want to. Where's my glue? Here it is. All right, so I'm just gonna put glue on the two sides, one bead. Okay. And we're gonna stick that kind of, sorta, in the middle making sure that we can close our two sides here. Okay, there we go. And then this one, we are gonna glue three times around. This one seals the deal. That made no sense, but hey. <laughs> I am such a goofball. I get at least seven laughs at myself every day. All right, so this one's gonna go all the way to the bottom of the page. And that's really the only rule with this one. And of course, like the other one, making sure we can close both sides. And there we go, now we have our two pockets. So we have those, we have our pocket over here, this pocket, this pocket, we have this pocket, we have this pocket. Oh my gosh, so fun, and now you can decide if you want it to close like this or if you want to close it like mine and oh we got to do the back I'm glad I saw that I don't want to leave you guys hanging let's do the back so um the back cover is I'm looking at my writing oh lord I wrote it small hold on okay five and three eighths by four and seven eighths so let's grab another sheet to do that can I just cut a sheet you guys I don't have it. I could have sworn I just cut a sheet, but maybe I didn't. Who knows? Got paper everywhere around here. Let me just find a pattern. Alrighty. So now what did I say? Five and three eighths by four and seven eighths. Alright, so five and three eighths, that's the mark right in between five and a quarter and five and a half. So the mark right before five and a half. So five and three eighths by four and seven eighths. So that's the mark right before the five. Grab our album. And that should fit right in the back like so. And of course, if you want a pocket up top or something like that, go for it. I'm just gonna glue the whole thing down. So I can go crazy here and woo. This, put it just, you know, centered in the middle, just the way, however you like it. I didn't leave a lot of white space. If you want more, you know, test it first and just make sure it's the way that you like it. All right, and we are all done. So let's take one final peek. We got our cover, opens up like this. We have our pocket here. We have our pocket here. We have our little layout that comes out like this. And then we've got our two pockets here. Oh, I just love this, it's so fun. All right, so that's it guys. And we have our little pocket here and our two right here. So that is it, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this was so fun. Now I'm gonna have to uh, decorate uh, the one that I did prior to this one because I just wanted to see what it looked like with this pattern. I guess I'll decide between these two and decorate one or the other and um, have fun with it because I just really wanted to play with this pattern. So that should be cool. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. If you got anything out of this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will check you guys out inside of our next video. So bye for now and happy crafting, everyone.